let's see. How about we talk about uh, for those in peril? Sure. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? I thought, yeah, I'll let you start on that. Okay. So th- this is a story about a, a fishing village in, I think, Scotland. And um, it's kind of set to the premise of a Scottish folktale uh, or poem, if you will. Um, but it's about a, uh, about a young man who uh, is blamed for a tragic um, wreck and loss of five fishermen in the village, including his older brother. Mm-hmm. And, and this young man is, has always kind of been in the shadow of his older brother. Uh, his older brother was good looking and athletic, et cetera. And, and this young man is a, a bit of an outcast, if you will. And, and so the whole town, uh, there, there's some mystery about the, the, the tragic uh, fishing accident, and, but he survived it. Um, and so he's kind of the under the the breath of of people in the town the the cause of of the accident even though nobody knows what uh, you know really happened um, but it's his his kind of struggle in dealing with that and his struggle in dealing with the loss of his brother uh, and being this outcast to to a point where um, he's driven to try to find them he doesn't believe that they're gone and and so he's trying to find them and he enlists the help of his brother's girlfriend in doing so but there's you know, there's a weird relationship there as well. There's uh, a loving and caring relationship with his mother, but his mother doesn't know what to do with him either. And and so he's on this quest to find the dead fisherman. And um, it, but what comes into play is the the haunting folktale of this monster in the sea and the devil, you know, coming from the sea, et cetera. And you know, people are thinking maybe he's the devil. And, and so he's trying to prove himself. And uh, it's you know, in many ways. Uh, um, I mean, it's, it's very spiritual, very haunting. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I liked a lot of it. It's a little slow yeah. at times, you know, for I think most audiences. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, but there eventually is some resolution in the film yeah. and uh, it has an interesting kind of magical ending. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought, I mean, there were many things about it that I, I liked a lot. Yeah, the movie didn't really sort of grab me until about the second half because, like you said, it is a little slow. I think I went into it thinking maybe there would be more uh, conflict with the people in the village. You don't really get a lot of that. You only get sort of a few key moments where he's actually in contact with, you know, families of the the, the men that got uh, were were lost. It's important to note that this was his apparently first time out on the water. Is that right? right, right. I think that's what they mentioned. So they they were kind of blaming his – ineptness at being out there um, sort of as a part of, you know, they were they were grasping at anything just right. sort of to put blame on him. Uh, the movie's uh, a way more cerebral than I was expecting. You know, you spend a lot of time with this young man and a lot of times, you know, it's just these scenes where he's just clearly, you know, trying to find himself and is, right. you know, depressed. And like you said, there's that relationship with uh, his, his, uh, his brother's uh, girlfriend, and so, you know, you, that's you get a lot of that um, to the point where, yeah, it just it it, it really it, it takes its time. It, you know, the movie's not trying to cater to the audience. I think the movie's just like trying to be what it wants to be, and I right. I have to commend it for that because, you know, going into a lot of movies, you have certain expectations, and so when the movie doesn't meet those expectations. You kind of struggle back and forth with it. Sure. And I did with this movie um, up until, you know, the the last 10, 15 minutes where I was like, okay, I, I really know what this is trying to say now. And I, yeah. I really enjoyed that, you know, the last sequence uh, in the film. I, I it, it was – I had never seen really anything like it, and I thought it was kind of a an interesting way of, of going about sort of sure. resolving the story as much as it can because, again, you don't know what happened to these, these men. and Yeah, yeah. And you, you still – you know, you wonder yeah. what what's real and what's not real, maybe yeah. in the magical ending. But, uh, but yeah, I, I um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I, mean, I think haunting is a good word for it, though, because it, you know, throughout there is, the, the, I guess, the conflict that the young man has is not necessarily as much with the town, but with himself. Sure, and uh, um, you just want him to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, and then I think he's at that sort of age too, where you know. Th- there are you still have that connection to your younger self that can be you know in that fantasy right. sort of just what if kind of scenario. So I thought that was kind of an interesting way of playing playing through it. Whereas you know in the, in the beginning of the movie he's it's a very realistic sort of portrayal of what would happen in that situation. But then as the movie goes on he sort of loses himself into that mental state, which I thought was sure. uh, you know an easy 
not an easy way of doing it, but a, a, a nice way of sort of going about that. And and I thought, um, I mean, I, I enjoyed being, uh, not that I would want to be in that fishing village, but sure. I enjoyed I enjoyed being exposed to that that you know small Scottish mm-hmm. fishing, fishing village because it's something that I don't remember seeing on screen you know in the past. So. It took us to a place where, you know, we had yeah. been as well. Yeah, the only movie I could think of was The Perfect Storm, you okay. know, that has done something like that. Yeah. But, I mean, you're spending, you're sort of with the boat rather than back at home, yeah. you know. So I, it's kind of a flip on that, I think, yeah. which is pretty interesting. Yeah. But I, I would encourage people to see it. Right on. Yeah. A Place for Film is recorded at WFIU Studios in Bloomington, Indiana.